my beautiful crafting family. So today I'm going to share, I just couldn't wait to use this, okay? I found the perfect project to, to uh, use this on. This is the Stamperia Romantic Collection threads that I got in my design team kit, yes, today. And um, I, I had to use it already. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I am about to send out some uh, happy mail to a sweet, sweet YouTuber that always shares inspiration, ideas. I mean, just, I just love this channel. And I'm not gonna say who it is just because, um, just in case she watches my channel uh, at any at any point. So I made this person something really special, something I hadn't done in 30 years. I went ahead and cracked out a couple of supplies and uh, made it. So I did, um, use the uh, Stamperia Threads collection. And I used, actually, I think I used three sheets of paper. Anyway, I did use the chipboard piece of the dress form. I used one of the scissors and I believe that was it, plus the paper. So let me show you, first of all, what I made for this person. I made this person a um, couple sets of doilies not not just the the one here is the other one but i mean you can't see the detail if i put them one on top of the other they're the, the same size and i hadn't crocheted in like i said 30 years but this youtuber inspired me to to make something for her because uh she she's so awesome and um, this is one of the one of the doilies that I made her, and I so hope that she enjoys it. So I made that set, and then I made another set, and this one's a little bit different, and they're not very large. They're they're small, but um, I think the area, well, the area that I hope she puts them at. Um, is going to be it's a smaller area so it's they, they should can't be too big so I made this one and I really I think I don't know which one's my favorite of the two but um yeah I made another set I couldn't stop at one here's the other one like I said they don't look uh, quite right one on top of the other but let me see if I can uh, put it on something where you can see a little bit better what the pattern looks like and um, I don't know if that's any better, but there we go. That's the second set of doilies that I have uh, crocheted for this sweet, sweet lady. And uh, let me show you the first one again. And there is the pattern to the first one, just in case you couldn't see because of the tabletop. I think they turned out so good in spite of the fact that I have not crocheted in so many years. And then I was going to make a couple of small ones. Um, but then I thought, well, you know, I, I don't want to overwhelm her or, or make her think or I don't want her to feel like, well, I have to use them. So I just make one small one just in case there's a small item that she would like to put um, on her surface and she doesn't she can put the doily on it. So I did make a thank you card, an appreciation card. And this is the card that I have made for her. This one is from the uh, six by six page. And remember guys, I told you, I just love that sewing machine. Um, for a second there, I, I almost couldn't part with it because I kept thinking, oh, but that's my favorite. No, she deserves it. She is an awesome lady. She deserves my favorite cut apart. So what I did here was I just uh, put a layer of glitter paper on the bottom and then the um, designer paper on the top. I did put a button there with a little twine bow and um, a little piece of bling on the top. I had made these flowers previously and I just thought it added just the right pop of color with some leaves that I got in my design package last month. And then this is another button and a rolled rose on top of it with a piece of bling. And then of course I use my little bling pieces throughout. You know, guys, I love my little bling. And then I use stickles on some of the flowers, on the buttons and on the machine itself. 
okay? And I have not glued this page on or this mat because this is where I want to write my note to her and then I'll glue it down. Just in case I make a mistake, you know, I can just cut another one. And then the inside, of course, it says thank you. And this will go right here with my note written on it. And yes, I'm going to write on it, guys. I'm I'm debating whether I should just, uh, you know, write it separately and let her do what she wants with this. She might, you know, want to use it for, you know, to, you know, you know how we do it, Kurt. You know how we do it. We we recycle, we reuse, and we alter things that we get. And uh, yeah, so I'm thinking, I really want to write into it just because this is my favorite um, six by six out of the out of the paper. I just love this little sewing machine. Just takes me back in time, you know, to when my grandmother was with us. And I, so I I really do want to write in in on the. In the card, I, I, I want to use the card. I want to be selfish and use the card for my message to her. I just love the card. So now I needed a box to put um, the doilies into. So I made a box and it is nine by five. And here is my box, my gift box, guys. Oh my gosh, I really like how it turned out. Um, so I did use the glitter paper at the bottom, then I used mirrored cardstock in gold, and then I used the paper collection. And this one's the one that actually had the dress form on there. And so I just used the chipboard piece on top of it with some foam to give it dimension so it wasn't, wasn't so flat. And then I put this beautiful, beautiful piece that Sherry sent me. Sherry, thank you so much. And then um, I used this trim again. I got this one from Sherry and I thought it matched great. And I used this button that I had in my stash. Someone had gifted that to me and I thought it was perfect because it's got little flowers on there. I don't know if you can tell. It's got little flowers on there. And again, I, I love the pop of color. And then I cut out some leaves in gold mirrored cardstock. And I put one on the top, one on the bottom. There's a tiny rolled rose right under, a rolled flower, it's not a rose, a rolled flower under the, the leaf. And then here is a flower that I got in one of my design team packages, along with the leaf here. This one uh, I got last month. And then I crocheted another little doily. And this one's in the form of a flower. I'm gonna tell you guys, I was on a roll to go along with the, the theme of the gift. And I glued that down. And then on the top, I made a seam, a crinkled seam binding bow. I put two buttons on there. And uh, again, these buttons were gifted to me, I don't know how long ago, but I just thought they were, they made a cute accent. And then I put the little scissors right here and then a crystal with some rondelles. And I just love how it turned out. I really, really, really super, super duper enjoyed making this. You know, guys, I think I, I enjoyed it so much because I made it from my heart because I truly, truly appreciate this creator. I really do. And then I put my, uh, you know, little bling pieces throughout. That is the front of the box. And that's all I decorated. I didn't decorate anything else, but I did line everything with the paper and um, because I wanted it to look finished. And isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And then I did uh, notch the, the sides out so that she can hold it from the bottom and pull the top and it opens up easily for her. And there's that gorgeous sewing machine. And I just truly, truly did enjoy making this. I am going to wrap these in tissue and then put them in there and uh, send them off as an appreciation gift. And that is going to be my little gift to her. Just super, super duper love this. I had so much fun. Ma'am, just know that I made it from the heart. I truly think you're a very special lady. And I'll tell you in my note why I made the doily. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your inspiration. 
and um, all your information, all the links, everything you do for us. You don't have to do it, but we thank you because we do learn a lot from you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to everyone later. Have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys.